Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Brave Prince and Masashi. Okay, so we took a rest of the inn, it's now day 3 at 3 in the morning. <laughs> but uh, our main goal now is the meandering forest, so let's make our way over there. The easiest way to get there, in my eyes, is to head through the Steamwood route. So we're going to head on over this way and enter from that direction. This way we won't have to use an extra hop command to cover another set of thorn bushes. Yeah, that's the real reason for doing it this way. It's not really a huge trek off. It's still going to take a while to get to the meandering forest proper. In which case, we just need to fly on over here. I am going to be fighting... Wow, that was a critical. I'll go ahead and train Lumina a little more. We are at level 5. Doing fine. Maybe a little fusion work too, but for right now, let's get Lumina a little help. Works for me. Early morning at 5 a.m. Yo, get over here. <laughs> yeah, it certainly took long enough. Okay, these guys, you pretty much have to use Lumina because otherwise. Striking at with fusion would automatically put you to sleep. Fusion is the best way to deal with them. I just said fusion. Lumina, I meant. Whoops. Derp. Yeah, that was an error on my part. Just whack away at them. Of course, that physical split indicates. Yeah, probably use Lumina. Just train with it a little more. Plants are annoying. Whack away at you. Heal up. The spinch out. There we go. Get rid of you. And that's really about it. So, there is this one, which I'm not going to attack. Rather, I need to use its hop to get to the meandering forest. So, assimilation for hopping. Yeah, I gotta go through that same command every time. Sheesh. Fly on up here. I can hit circle now. And whack away at you for good measure, because why not? And away we go to the meandering forest. Alright, so all we need to do is just keep the dogs safe by attacking everything. I'll probably use fusion a little bit more this time. This is a bigger stalling point. You just gotta wait for... Whoops, that was my fault. Run on over here, next area. Man, I am not doing so well here. Keeping the dog safe. Just let him do its thing. I'm just gonna whack away at everybody. Try to, anyway. Not yet. I'm gonna go ahead and blast the others. Because magicians are annoying. Alright, we'll head on to the right. I mean, that kind of worked. <laughs> that should be everything. Just grab everything, head back up north. Hmm. 
That one. Should be everything. Yep. Alright, now I just gotta wait for you to get off of the tree. And that's the whole meandering forest. And there's John's key. Easy stuff overall. Now with that, I'm pretty sure we end up immediately back. Yep, we're immediately out of the meandering forest. Alright, so what I need to do now is simply get hop again. And we're past the bushes, and away we go. How far am I on, uh, I'm at level 6. Pretty early in level 6, though. Hmm. Alright, so what we need to do now is wait for, uh... Need to head for about midnight in order to trigger the next scene, because otherwise, uh, John will mention, up oh, derp, I got too close. And that's why you don't use fusion on those guys. Keep a safe distance and clip at them with Lumina. Works for me. Of course, if I keep practicing with it, I won't have to uh, do so much training with it. Of course, I do need to train Fusion, but that's more... Um, I mean, I can use Fusion at any time. So anyway, we'll head on over here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and trigger the scene to kind of mention uh, why we have to wait for midnight. Just kind of do that since not much else to do otherwise. Not a whole lot of time's been spent either. Thanks, but someone might see. Come back after midnight. Thanks, man. Well, I can spend the next five hours beating the crap out of things over here. <clears throat> Not much else I can do otherwise. See if we can get this thing up to, uh... Well, body leveled up again. Get clapped. The yeah, main problem with this area is that there's that one... Uh, enemy that you can't even damage. You can just knock them into the water. It's really the only reason why I don't like coming to this part. But it's closer to John, which is why I'm here. I'm just doing this to increase Lumina's power and fusion, too. And there's a mine level up. Sweet. If I can just keep training this thing up to uh, the initial cap of eight, that'd be pretty cool. And there's the darkness of the forest. Yeah, that's the thing I can't take out. Alright, we can't access that just yet. Um, and that works for me. Um, really close to seven here. 
Of course, Bonnie's about to hit level 8, but that's not surprising. You're my last opponent. Alright, we'll switch to day 4. And now we can go deal with John. Hit square, here we go. Oh, just who I was waiting for. Open the lock to the stocks. Hold your horses. I'll get you out. All right. Thanks, man. Hey, sure. Now, how about the secret? Meet me at the top of Twin Peak Mountain and cut down four trees on your way up. We'll use the logs for... Uh-oh, someone's coming. See you later. Hey, wait! What about the five scrolls? You know where they are, don't you? What? He left? What a weirdo. Well, I better head off to Twin Peak Mountain. Joy. <laughs> All right. So, what we need to do now is head for that position, but... <clears throat> we are at 11 minutes. Eh, what the hell, I'll start making my way there and at least fight a couple enemies. What, actually, um... Nah, I can trade on my way up. What the hell. Chris, there's gonna be a lot of enemies on the way there. Oh, 50% tiredness. Fantastic. Um... You know what? I think I can go ahead and, uh... I'll do a, uh, I'll do a three-hour stay at the inn. This way I can at least we drop the tightness a little bit. Welcome. Make yourself at home. Not for long. I'm just gonna stay for three hours, put it up in the early morning, and that puts my tyrant all the way down to zero. Perfect. Yeah, this next section is actually going to take a while, but it's one I'm familiar with, because I mentioned earlier in the Let's Play, I owned the uh, Volume 9 Interactive Demo CD for the PlayStation a while back, and Brave Fritz and Masashi was one of the games on it. This, coming, this section coming up was the second section that was available in that demo, and that's the one I played the most out of all three available sections. The main reason being is that you actually had access to just about everything. You saw the day and night cycles activate. Third one was in a dungeon. You didn't see it, Jack. And, uh... I remember playing that section so long, I capped my stats out. Just screwing around, doing whatever. Not that it really made a difference, because it was one of those games where you played as long as you wanted until three, one of three things happened. You hit the select button, which removed everything, in which case it'll allow you to go to sleep in this game. You either hit the select button, you finished your main objective, or you got KO. Those were the only three ways you could leave the demo. And I remember staying on them for extremely long periods of time, just screwing around long enough to actually max out all four stats in the game. Just wild. And that's... But it was fun. Plus, I couldn't find the game anywhere, so that was the only reason I was able to play the game at all. In 14 minutes. I think I can actually, um... <clears throat> yeah, I can wait a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to stop at where everything began with that demo right here. As we are at 14 minutes, I think it's an earlier cut, but no big deal. We can run this entire section as a full episode, and I think that'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this here, and I will cut down four logs and get up Twin Peak Mountain next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.